Night Farm, I wish it wasn't true, but there is a high chance that you are using items produced by slaves in China. Slaves being forced into re-education comes to stop believing in God. Slaves being forced into abortion to stop having children. A million to three million Muslim slaves. Uyghurs. This is the shocking research on the largest concentration camps based on religion since the Holocaust. For the past three years, the Communist Party of China has been denying it all until the leak of this drone video. It shows hundreds of blindfolded people all of them with shaved heads being transported to one of the camps. And the reason the Chinese government treats them like this is going to boil your blood. I want to make this clear. These are not my theories. The horrible things you're about to see are verified by many sources. After the leak of the drone footage and some documents exposing the camps, China officially called them the re-education camps. Here is where millions of Muslim Uyghurs are going through intense brainwashing until the only identity they have left is atheist Han Chinese. In the Chinese region of Xinjiang, where around 10 million Uyghurs have been living for centuries, if you are not purely Chinese, you just get stolen at night. Your kids wake up in an empty house, realizing that mommy and daddy have been taken for a few years. And when they take you, they will strip you down from any traditions and faith. They will brainwash you into thinking that you were a terrorist. I love the Communist Party of China, this man has written. And if you're a woman, they will sterilize you to make sure you don't have any more children. Just like this woman, who came back re-educated. <laughs> But so did her daughter. Have you noticed how calm the daughter was to see her mom cry? Kids of the stolen parents often are left alone, so the government takes care of them. They are placed in the child version of the re-education camps, the kindergartens. Behind these high walls with barbed wires, the kids are cleaned of their tradition and faith as if it's dirt. Anything that was ever passed down to this child is wiped out by the time you as a parent come back. And when you come back after these few years, not only will you see a new version of your child, but also you will see a new version of your hometown. Now your culture is banned. Beards are banned. Fasting is banned. The Uyghur language is banned in most schools. Many child names are banned. And even the very mosque you used to go to pray has turned into dust. Just like in the times of World War, people were being put in burning flames and turned into ashes. Uyghur family ties, faith and beliefs are going through the same type of flames. I lost a connection with them since October 14, 2017. My parents are in the camp. And in this new re-educated reality, now you have a new God. It's looking at you from above. Through tens of thousands of cameras placed everywhere around the city, it is the God of the Communist Party he said on the mission to build an army of obedient communist robots. By now you see that I am very emotional about this, I'm full of mixed feelings and I'm sweating. It's because I grew up right next to Auschwitz in Poland where millions of Jews and a million Polish people died. And I can't help but see the similarities to the very ideology Hitler invented himself. Xinjiang, Auschwitz, Jews and Poles, Uyghurs and Kazakhs, the torture, unification of one ethnic race, camps, and finally the forced labor. Earlier I said that there's a high chance you are using items made by slaves. And it's true. Uyghurs are forcefully sent to many other regions in China where they are put to work in factories. There is evidence of 83 global brands being involved in all of this, often without the brands even knowing. The very shoes you run in, the mask you wear, suddenly the tag made in China has gotten a different meaning. And that's why I ask you for help to make this go global. Right now, right here, Project Nightfall is strong in millions.
Together we reached over 60 million people for Lebanon. We can do it for Uyghurs. Every comment, every share makes you a part of the movement for a good change. And if you feel inspired to help even more, I'm never giving up, I started a fundraiser to contribute to the Uyghur Human Rights Project. Thank you for being a part of the fight for the truth. Because the truth is terrifying. During this video I deliberately depicted Hitler, Second World War and Auschwitz. It's because, ladies and gentlemen, the past likes to repeat itself. During Hitler's rise to power there were many signals that were against human rights and should have raised international red flags. But nations did nothing because they were afraid taking a strong stand would lead to another war. As we all know, this did not prevent the world war and ended up being a tragedy. Now the United Nations see the same thing with China and the cultural genocide of Uyghurs is just a part of all the red flags. It seems to me that if we don't act, we as the world are about to make the same gigantic mistake we made less than a hundred years ago. It is true, the past indeed likes to repeat itself.